We begin here at 6 with the pandemic and the rising number of hospitalizations in New York. Total hospitalizations in the state of top 10,000 for the first time in nearly two years. But the numbers may not reflect the severity of the pandemic. CBS 2's Jessica Moore live outside Elmhurst Hospital in Queens with more for us tonight. Jessica. Well, Maurice and Christine, no doubt COVID hospitalizations are up, but health experts tell me that the number of people with severe COVID illness isn't nearly as high as those numbers might imply. Today, the mayor announced his plan to make sure city hospitals don't break under the strain. Mayor Eric Adams announced a three-point plan to ensure city hospitals have the resources they need to fight surging COVID cases, including $27 million in Goldman Sachs-backed loans to support the city's safety net hospitals, $111 million to support city health and hospitals, and 250 additional staff members at the city's Department of Health and Human Services. The New York City COVID-19 Hospital Loan Fund will make sure they are getting what they need to fight COVID. Salaries, protective equipment, testing, and administering vaccines and distribution all over the city. Adams plans to reclaim millions of federal dollars that are going unused to bolster the city's health and hospitals. Nearly 5,000 COVID positive people are currently hospitalized in the city, with roughly 500 in the ICU. Hospitalizations in New York City are currently less than half of what they were during our initial spring 2020 wave though they have surpassed what we've seen in other waves. About 75 to 80 percent of all hospital beds across New York City are occupied right now, um, and that number uh, we do expect to increase in the coming days. Across the city, more health care workers are getting COVID, increasing the strain on an already overburdened workforce. Every hospital in the city does a PCR test on any patient admitted. Every positive patient is lumped into the overall COVID positivity rate, regardless of why they're being hospitalized. Of those that are PCR positive, Positive, about a third are admitted for acute COVID pneumonia. Among children, the disparity is even greater. Pediatric epidemiologist Dr. Jennifer Leiter says the number of children hospitalized for acute COVID pneumonia is up by only a handful of patients who all share one common denominator. The children that are admitted for acute COVID pneumonia are not vaccinated. It is very um, upsetting and frustrating as an infectious disease doctor treating these children because I know that their suffering could have been prevented. Governor Hochul is now asking all hospitals to break down the number of people who are actually admitted with acute COVID symptoms. That's so health officials can get a better understanding of just how severe this wave is. We're live in Elmhurst, Queens. Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News. Jessica, thank you.